All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to this week's webinar Wednesday. Uh, we're here to talk about retail lead management 101. Uh, excited to be here. Um, looks like we got a, a good conversation happening in the chat right now. Rod Woods is eating some chicken. Um, we hope everyone's enjoying their lunch while they listen to us talk about RLM today. Um, before we kick off into today's, today's agenda, just a quick round of introductions for the two of us. My name is Dan Pratt. I'm one of the co-founders and the chief revenue officer here at Broadloom. I oversee our marketing sales, our marketing and sales team. Uh, and Brandon's going to introduce himself right now. Yep, guys, I'm Brandon Pindell. I'm an account manager over here on the ERP side here at Broadloom. And I'm really looking forward today to showing you guys the RLM features that we have. All right. So the chat's going to be ongoing throughout today's conversation. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, for myself or for Brandon, please uh, add those questions to the chat. Um, we'll be monitoring that chat through today's webinar. And then we also have uh, some Broadloom team members also in the chat that might be able to help out uh, as we're in between slides here. Um, as far as agenda for today, uh, we're going to uh, start this conversation by just giving a quick overview of lead management and CRM software, just to make sure we're all on the same page, we level set. Um, we're going to talk about why every single retailer out there should be using some form of lead management. We'll do a little bit of a deep dive into the data to kind of show, you know, how different businesses are, are leveraging uh, lead management software. And then Brandon's going to take us through a demonstration of retail lead management and show us some of the cool features uh, that we have built for our retailers to leverage with their teams. Um, and then we'll end with some Q&A. So like I said, if you guys have any questions throughout today's presentation, put them in the chat, um, and then we'll open things up towards the end. Um, but before we dive into to the demo, we did wanna just go through um, a quick conversation around what lead management is. Again, some of you folks might know what lead management is. Some of you may have experience working with lead management and CRM tools, but we wanted to give just a quick overview for the folks um, that this is new for. Um, at its highest level, lead management um, or customer relationship management, also known as the CRM, uh, tools are pieces of software that allow you to capture, organize, and manage your sales leads. Um, so a lot of folks that we work with today, they come to us and they ask us how to drive leads for their business. Um, we do a really good job at that here at Broadloom. Um, but then there's that next stage of once that lead is in your ecosystem, how do you track and management manage it over time? Now, the cool thing about leads uh, lead management software in REMS um, is that it, tr it tracks the entire life cycle of a lead. So the moment that that person um, goes to your website and fills out a lead form, or they walk into your showroom and your sales team is entering this information into the lead management software, you're able to take that lead through each stage of the sales process um, to ensure that things are uh, organized and you're keeping track of where everything is. Um, so that's one big benefit. We'll talk about the, 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 the real benefits in a second here, but a big benefit of lead management software is that it helps keep things organized and prevents any lead from falling through cracks. Um, now, the cool thing about these tools is that they're very customizable. So um, every retailer that we work with has a different process that they adhere to, that their sales teams adhere to. And the um, lead management software should uh, should look very similar, right? Every time you take a lead and you move them from point A to point B, um, that should be almost like a mirror image in your in your software. So it's really important that as you're getting things set up, um, you've organized it in such a way to be able to support that. And that's something that we'll walk you through in today's demo. Um, as far as examples of this type of technology, there's a lot out there in the world. Salesforce is probably the biggest example uh, of a lead management or a CRM tool. Um, the most famous one for us, obviously, is retail lead management, Broadloom's lead management software, um, the only lead management software that was built exclusively for the flooring industry. Um, and we'll show you guys what we mean by that with some of the features that we've created just for the flooring retailer um, and why we feel like that's so important. All right. Um, so now that we have an understanding of what lead management software is, let's talk a little bit about why uh, in our opinion, every retailer needs lead management software. Um, 
We talked about this a few seconds ago, but one of the biggest reasons is efficiency. We talk with retailers every single day that um, ask us what ways we can help them become more efficient. And when we have those conversations, we always point to um, our lead management technology because it does the work of multiple people on your team by keeping everything efficient and organized. Um, everything is under one roof, right? You're not looking at different post-it nodes or three ring binders with customer information. Everything's contained within your, your CRM. Um, and that just makes getting that information um, to your salespeople or to different folks on your team a lot easier, which increases the efficiency. Um, it helps you track leads better, right? Um, anytime someone has a form on your website, uh, or even if you're manually entering this information in uh, the lead management tool uh, on your own, all of that lives there forever, right? It's not like that's going to disappear in the shuffle of your showroom. Um, and so it decreases the likelihood of uh, any of those leads being misplaced or not being followed up on. One of the big pieces of feedback that we get from retailers um, is, uh, you know, sometimes it's difficult to, to maintain all the leads that are coming in on a day-to-day -day basis and some stuff gets lost in the shuffle. Um, and that's the biggest complaint that we see when customers have negative feedback uh, for the folks that they work with. And so having a good strategy around lead management can help avoid situations like that. Uh, another big benefit is that it enhances um, your lead nurturing efforts. So once people are in your ecosystem, it puts your sales team in a position to work those leads and ensure that they're getting the service that you promised them on the upfront. Um, this is something that we're constantly thinking about when we're talking with prospective clients for Broadloom and the way that we leverage our CRM. Uh, we never want anyone that we're talking with to feel like they're not being um, followed up with or listened to. It just helps you create that really great customer experience. Um, and then the final two points are, are really around your competitive advantage. Uh, in the flooring industry, things like lead management tools are becoming more adopted, but there's um, still a long way to go, right? This is a new piece of technology for most, most folks to leverage. So if you start today, you will be at a competitive advantage um, with the other folks that are in your area. And really what we mean by that is you will be putting your team in the driver's seat uh, to really um, increase the, the follow-up times that you're um, keeping track of with your sales team. And again, providing that customer experience um, you know, that you, that you want to strive for every single day. Um, and then finally, the most important thing in our opinion is uh, having lead management as part of your strategy will increase sales, right? We talked about losing things in the shuffle of your showroom. Um, that happens all the time with the retailers that we we work with that are not using lead management. And if you can just keep track of every single lead that has reached out to you, um, more, uh, less, less of those leads will fall through the cracks and you'll be able to sell more of them at the end of each month. Um, and so that's what really this is, this is built for. Now we can say that, you know, these are all the reasons why it's really important, but we'll let the data speak for itself. Um, it, it, uh, a retailer adopts lead management, you typically see productivity increased by about 50%. Um, that's a massive number, right? That's basically saying you don't have to hire an extra person because you're making the existing person that's responsible for a certain set of tasks much more uh, uh, effective and efficient at their job. We also see, like I was mentioning a few seconds ago, that it increases your close rate on the sales side by just keeping your team more organized and preventing less leads from falling through the cracks. Um, and uh, the ROI on a piece of software like this is incredible. We typically see for every dollar spent uh, on lead management or CRM software, your return is a little under $9. Um, you know, that just goes to show how powerful uh, this technology is if leveraged the right way. Um, and, uh, you know, certainly something that, you know, we, we want all of our retailers to be thinking about, you know, as they continue to refine their internal operations. And you know, before we, we dive into the demo here, we did want to just give some quick background on retail lead management, um, because this is something that we get asked quite a bit. Um, we mentioned earlier in today's presentation, you know, RLM is the only CRM that was built exclusively for the flooring industry. And we love this story so much, you know, we felt like it was an important thing to share in today's webinar. Um, 
RLM was started by a, a retailer, uh, a flooring retailer out in Columbus, Ohio, named Jason Goldberg. Uh, he runs one of the largest retail flooring businesses in the country. And Jason built this technology to scratch his own itch. Uh, he knew that having uh, lead management software as part of his day-to-day -day workflow would increase his, his team's efficiency and increase the number of sales opportunities um, they closed each month. And he went and tried a bunch of different providers that were not unique to the flooring industry. Some of the ones that we showed earlier in today's presentation and none of them worked. And so he said, okay, well, if, if, if nothing exists, I'm just going to build something for my own needs. And um, maybe that will be a better approach for us to take. So that's what he did. That was the, the birth of RLM. He built it for his business. And it was so impactful for his company, America's Floor Source, that he started to share the technology with other people in the industry. And it kind of turned into, um, you know, a separate business that was providing all of this value to retailers across the country. Um, it was one of those things that like unlocked uh, uh, something special for retailers that were looking for a new way to create these efficiencies with their team. And it sort of spread like wildfire. Broadloom bought retail lead management a couple of years ago. And we've integrated it into our all-in-one software platform because we saw the value that it was generating for the customers that were leveraging it. And so uh, it's now become a standard part of, of you know, what we offer to our customers today. Um, so with that, we're going to hop into a demo and show you how retail lead management works. Um, we'll get under the hood. Uh, and then um, as things are progressing with the demonstration, please feel free to leave your questions in the, in the chat here, um, and we'll have some separate time carved out at the end for Q&A. Hey, thanks, Stan. <clears throat> One of the things I was actually going to ask you real quick was when he built this, I know we saw in here the platform is easy to use, but I know he looked at a lot of like very excelled uh, like Salesforce uh, platforms and so forth. And one of the, I'm, I'm guessing one of the easy things that he did here was making it so people could run in and basically use this almost with little to no training. Um, I've never asked him that personally, so I wasn't sure if you had a little broadening on that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the more important things to think about when you're selecting um, what lead management software to use. We built, Jason built RLM in such a way that was not only unique to the flooring industry, but unique to the needs of the people that worked in the flooring industry. And so like Brandon was saying, it was built in a way that just worked. It was easy to get your team trained on, easy to understand you know, each of the different um, parts of the dashboard. And that's what we'll walk through in today's demonstration. Um, but uh, you know, one of the, again, one of the benefits of, of leveraging a, a, so a piece of software like RLM is the ease of use. Um, and the documentation that we have on our side um, that you can use to your sales team on. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get switched over to our screen view so I can go ahead and show you guys um, a little bit of walkthrough here on our CRM. Are you guys able to see my screen now? We can. Awesome. Um, and it looks like my video might be frozen, so I do apologize for you guys there now that I'm sharing the screen. But I've logged into the screen. As you guys can see, this is you know, very clean. Basically, what happens here when you log in, you guys is going to be taken right to your open leads screen here. You'll notice that we have a lot of different details. Now, there is a pipeline here, so you guys could have different pipelines if you wanted to manage different aspects of each pipeline. And pipelines can be used for if you guys have a retail division and a property management division or so forth. So you could split it out by uh, divisions there. The um, the other option that you guys will see here is that we're going to also track your 
your the tasks that you have out, whether you have samples that are out. And we're going to dive into a lead shortly, just giving you guys a little breakdown of all the information that's available right at your fingertips when you log in. You can also get an idea of what leads are sitting in what stage. And all these little report buttons at the top are just quick, easy ways to navigate to see how much is sitting in un. Uh, in certain statuses. So here you'll see I had 80 leads on a sign. So I'm not, I need to get to assigning these leads out to salespeople. And then these are the different statuses that other leads are sitting in. So I can get a good view of what's going on with inside of my organization. I can also track here what I quoted, right? So you'll notice here that you guys can do a, um, a, you guys can put in your quote amounts and or your sale amounts if you guys need to. And here, and sorry guys, my Zoom kicked in on this. So you guys would be able to see what you've quoted against what you've sold it to, to be able to track, um, you know, how long you guys, how well you guys are doing from uh, the original lead all the way until the final close. You can also see real quick, and this is one of my favorite options, is to be able to um, is to be able to see how people heard about us. This is one of the quick ways for you to be able to see where your marketing dollars are going. Sorry, guys, it seems like. And pardon that. So this how you heard about us allows you guys to I am sorry guys, I let me close out this browser window and open a new one. Brandon, it might be the, the bandwidth that we're using here, so I'm gonna turn off my camera just so that might make this a little bit easier. Got you, sorry about that. All right, it looks like we lost Brandon um, due to some bandwidth issues on the app that we're using here for the uh, screen share. So um, I'm gonna take a look at the chat and see if there are any questions that have come in. If you guys have questions so far for either myself or Brandon, please take a second here while we're getting things back up and running um, to uh, add them to the chat and we'll cover them as they come in. All right. So I see there is a question about a mobile app in the near future um, that has been partially answered. Um, Taylor mentioned that this is uh, a cloud-based uh, piece of software. So you can access this from any device. Um, and uh, it seems like there is a need for like an actual physical app, which our product team is actively looking at right now. Um, Looks like we have Brandon back here. Sorry about that. Can you guys hear me? We can. All right, sorry about that, it seems. And... All right. So uh, I'm going to run through this a little bit. I am having a little bit of an issue on my computer that doesn't look like it's going to be resolved until I'm restarted. So we'll go ahead and open up a lead here so you guys are able to um, see the details and what we captured through here. So basically, when you guys open a lead, you're going to have all of your... Uh, lead detail, any kind of tasks that are set up for that user, as well as here, you'll be able to see any of the lead details. So whether the household information, which is important for the salespeople to see, um, <clears throat> to see what products they might be interested in using, as well as what products they're interested in. So this just gives you ideas on that household detail, as well Brandon. as hey, they're interested in 
Yeah. Sorry, before we move on, we just can't see your screen. Um, is there, are you trying to share it right now? Yep. Let's see here. Hopefully this works now. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Okay. Got you guys. Let's start it. <clears throat> All right, so one of the things I was trying to show you guys a little bit a while ago, but my, my screen was just acting funky, but here you guys will see this, how you heard about us. This is one of my favorite reports. I know I went back on this, but this I can see that social media is bringing in about 7% of the leads. Referral word of mouth is 3%. This just kind of helps me understand where my marketing dollars are going and what's actually working based on the leads that are coming in uh, through our website. One of the cool other features that we wanted to talk about was, you know, these leads, you guys can create them as someone calls in just by hitting this plus button and hitting create a sales lead, or we'll talk about companies as well. You can also, with a Broadloom website, these leads can automatically dump into here. So imagine someone goes to your website, says, I would love to get an appointment with you guys. They fill out a form online. This lead immediately comes in here for you to see and alert you guys that it needs to be assigned out to a sales rep. Now, once that lead comes in, you guys would go ahead and open up a lead here. This will bring up a lead as well as any tasks that need to be completed. Now, one of the things I really love about this and the way RLM was designed is to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. And with most CRMs, if you close a task and then you get a phone call and you don't remember to recreate a task to follow up, you end up forgetting about that lead and it drops. So one of the brilliant things that they did here was I'm going to come in here and say that I want to change this task because my measurement is done, right? So I'm going to say that my current task is completed. And you'll notice here that everything says it's required. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that they are actually going through here and saying, hey, you know what, I need to create my next task. And we're going to come and say that uh, we've quoted this. And the quote amount was 7,600 bucks. So we're making that a mandatory field. And then you'll notice my follow-up task here is going to be on a follow-up, check on quote. And we'll put this new date in here. So we'll say that this is going to be the 23rd. And I want to just do these at 8 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> and I can add any notes in here or details that I want to keep track of. And in this case, I did two steps, right? I closed my old task and I up. I created a new task as well as I updated the stage of this uh, lead. Now, I did see Rod answer a question. We'll go back to question or asked a question earlier about is there an integration with ERP? This customer sync button will essentially integrate uh, with the ERP side. You'll see that this customer is already synced with Hawk 9980. And what happens in that synchronization is we're just sending over this lead detail information as far as the name, phone number, and email to create the customer inside of Roamaster. And then you would go into Roamaster and run the quotes, and you guys would track all of your notes and progress through here. <clears throat> In the case that maybe you've done a follow-up here, but maybe somebody else needs to do something in your company, you guys can always add secondary tasks. So this is great for keeping in communication with others among the team, right? So maybe we need to have a quick meeting in regards to, um, you know, pricing structures or whatnot. So we could put in here pricing and we could set a date and, and that way that person will get a notification that I'm trying to set a task for them. And this will track both of those. Now, another cool feature people have asked about email integrations. Do we have a direct email integration at the moment? We do not. But one of the cool things here is that you can click this button here for a copy. And if you add that link into your email, you guys will actually get a note that will pop down here that will show you that email task. So just copy an address here that will link that email into all of your notes and tasks down here, therefore tracking that. And you can put that in the CC field. So if a customer hits reply all, every email will actually be tracked through this as well. Adding any notes in here is simple as typing in hey or whatever you'd like to type and if you'd like to notify the, a person that's assigned to the lead you can and you would hit add note here and that user will get a notification of any updates that have happened here. 
you can pin certain notes to the top just by clicking this pin button so it stays at the top so if it's an important note uh details about that customer very easy to make sure they stay uh visible um, you can choose who, who has permissions to edit, but you guys can edit or delete notes if you've occasionally gone in and made that or made a wrong note. Files here. So anything you have to attach, very easy to do by drag and drop, or you can click these attach uh, files here. You can also download anything if it's pre-attached, and most people will attach pictures, documents, signed copies, whatever that may be. Now, one of my favorite parts through here, because sample tracking has always been a nightmare, and it is something that people call me all the time. In fact, I've had people just want to buy ERP because they want a way to track samples. But this one here is really simple, right? We come in here. I'm going to say, yes, they picked up a sample. And this is all free form. I believe that's one of the beauties about this, is that it's very easy to say that I gave them my product of this. I could give a uh, item number or however you guys may um, label your stuff. We can name this as a Shaw brand. Um, again, SA for care, we'll just say red. And price quoted could be 6,900 bucks, or we could say that this was 6.99 a yard, depending on how you want to set up your um, sample tracking. And we'll go ahead and say that this is with the customer. I'm going to hit add sample here. And what's cool here is that when I click on samples, I can see every sample they have. I can track my due dates, whether they're past due or not. Another place to manage this is from the main lead screen. You guys have the ability to view whether there are samples out or not. So whether they have a sample out, you can see this and sort by who has it. You can edit these columns, by the way. So if you guys have way too many details on this screen, you can just simply um, slide off any of these ones you don't want and those changes instantly change your setup as well as setting up templates for organization users if you want to make sure it's easy and they don't have too much data. Another place to manage samples would be up here uh, on our samples dashboard and this will give you every uh, sample that is out at the current uh, moment, as well as the stage of the lead, right? And this is important. The last thing you want to have is a sales a customer with a sample still in their hands when the job is sold. And mainly, especially if you're dealing with carpet or tile where, and, and wood where dye lot issues are a, a huge issue, you want to make sure that you collect those samples before you end up for an installation. So this is a good way to track those and also keep your samples from running away. You do. You guys do have a task dashboard as well, so you can sort everything here by um, by all of your tasks that are open and incomplete at the moment. And most of the time, you would just have this filtered out for yourself. But I am logged in as an administrator, so I can see everyone in my company and how far behind they are. We can also view a calendar view. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this out, but I can choose to do all events or just only my own. And this will show me that, hey, on Thursday the 23rd, we have three events in here. And if I click this, these will be the different leads that are sitting here. And I can click on one at any time to take me right to the lead. Down here at the bottom is just a listing view, which you can print out with your appointments and so forth. <clears throat> Last but not least, I want to do a quick little run through of customer management. There are two different versions of lead management. One of them will be everything to the left of this customer management. So you'll get leads, tasks, calendars, and uh, samples. Customer management is a great use for those who have reoccurring accounts and or property management. This allows you guys to actually set up companies inside of lead management, which will allow you to track all of the contacts inside of this comp. Um, inside of this company. So any contacts you add, you guys are able to keep up with everyone that's there. Um, you guys can also copy this email address. We'll attach any email in regards to this company as a whole, or you can click on each contact and, and grab an email link there as well. From here, say you get a property that calls you in and says, hey, I need a unit measured. 
today. Can you guys get that set up? Now, typically, for those of you who don't use a CRM, that's a phone call, a scratch, a scratch pad, or a post-it note that ends up falling in the trash, and we maybe miss that one, right? From here, I would just come here and say, you know what? Not a problem. I could create a lead for the entire company if I'm not sure of the contact, or if I know that Dolly Parton wanted to get together, I could just click on her and create a lead from this contact, which would take all of her contact information and create a lead. And then therefore I could move on from there and track uh, my progress. Uh, also, for those that do property management, you don't like everyone having access to all the contacts. You guys can restrict access to certain users on certain accounts if you need it to. Um, I'll cover one last thing real quick, but for you guys creating users in your organization is really easy by hitting this create user. If you guys needed to edit any of your users permission, really easy to open up a lead. And those of you with ERP, I know appreciate this, but this is one of the screen where you guys can come in here and easily select what they're allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do. I think I've done like a very quick run through of this and Dan, not sure if you see anything you'd like me to dive into uh, real quick before we jump into pricing and questions. Yeah. So I, I just want to, uh, can we go back to the, like the, um, the deep dive lead um, view just so that we can, I just want to cover one thing real quick and then we'll, we'll kind of do a quick recap here and then get into some of the Q and a. Um, so I talked about this in a little, a little bit before earlier in this presentation, but, um, you know, the real cool thing about retail lead management and it being part of Broadloom's ecosystem is that it's built for flooring retailers. And so, um, it's allowed us to be really creative and solve needs that are unique to the customers that we work with, right? We only work with flooring retailers. We don't work with pizza shop owners or roofers. And so that gives us the flexibility to solve specific pain points that, that you guys have on a day-to-day -day basis. And a big one for a long time was um, keeping track of samples that got checked out of your showroom. And so that's one example of how we think about adding features to, um, to this type of software. But our product team is constantly thinking about adding additional features that are solving the unique needs of our customers. Um, they're in the chat right now, just getting as much feedback as possible. Um, in this one conversation, right? But they're doing this all the time. So um, what I love about this view here is that it's it's everything that you need to understand where leads in, in your sales process are at, right? And it's something that you can send to any member of your team and immediately they understand not just where they are today, but their history um, uh, since the time that they've reached out to you um, looking to, to work together. Um, those things are really powerful when you're talking about creating internal efficiencies within your sales groups um, and ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. Um, it's one of the most important things that we do. Uh, and then uh, I have one question for you, Brandon. If I, like, we talked a lot about like leads that get entered in when someone hits your website. If a walk-in comes through my showroom uh, and I want to add them to RLM, um, can you show me how to do that? Yep, we come right up here to create a sales lead here. And this is where we would go in and add those details really quick. So you would um, can name the deal, whatever you would like. And then here you guys would come in and add the customer's name, last name, as well as all their address information. Um, select the select the information there that's important, how they heard about us, um, as well as the lead source, which you guys would select as a walk-in. So we kind of know uh, that lead source. I um, Is it okay for me to jump ahead and do a question really quick that I saw? Because we're here and this yeah. is the screen I had ready to show. Okay, cool. Absolutely. So I did see a question come through in, hey, if I convert a lead over from uh, a company, Right. Well, you're going to be brought to this same screen when you convert the lead and you guys um, here with division, you could set up different divisions if you want to. So that way that lead is tracked um, differently if you want, but you would have the choice to select that there um, if needed. And then I, another option could be based on using a pipeline if you guys wanted to use a different pipeline, which there is. So that would essentially... Cost. That would essentially create like a separate funnel that could be tracked 
differently than all the other stuff, correct? Correct. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Um, so let's, um, if we want to just pop back into the, um, the presentation here, Brandon, I know we've had some technical issues, so we'll, we'll give you a second to do that. Um, but we're going to jump, uh, we're going to jump into Q and a, uh, to end this, um, to end the webinar. Um, and there's been some really awesome questions so far, uh, in the chat here. Um, I'm going to pull out a couple of them as a starting point and then we can um, we can dive into uh, some of the others that were submitted anonymously. Brandon, are you ready? Uh, yes, I'm getting there. Um, am I still sure? It might be easier to just share my screen and go through this one, but I'm waiting on that presentation to pop up. Okay. Okay. And sorry, guys, I can't. It's not going. <laughs> but, All right. While we're while we're waiting for you, um, I'm going to read the first question I saw that was submitted. Um, will all account information from quotes, purchase orders, and orders integrate to this system as well from Rollmaster, or do you need to manually do this? Um, Brandon, you covered this um, in the demo, but can you just explain? how that sync feature works between retail lead management and Rollmaster? Yes. So essentially uh, what is happening when you guys, um, when you guys are running a lead in RLM is that it's standalone. It's, it's actually not connected to the ERP at first. When you're ready to create a quote, we have a customer sync button, which will create that customer inside of uh, the ERP side to allow you guys to create a quote and so forth. But that, that is as far as the, it, it is integrated at the second. Um, yeah, that's, that's as far as we, we are at the moment, but it will create the customer. So you don't have to re-enter all of that information. You would just be entering the quote lines. All right, let's see what the next question is. Okay, uh, next question that we see here that was submitted anonymous, anonymously was, um, can I have a lead form on my website if I don't have a Broadloom website? Can I use RLM basically if I don't have a Broadloom website? Absolutely, RLM is made for everyone. Um, and if you guys have your own website and and for some reason a Broadloom website isn't uh, fitting for you guys at the moment, you guys can uh, reach out to us and we can get you set up with a form on your site. There is an additional uh, cost for that, but we will get you the form set up for your own website if you guys wanted to have those filter in for you. Yeah, and then just to add on top of that, I mean, I think one of the benefits of having everything contained in in the Broadloom ecosystem is the data just seamlessly passes from one platform to the next. Um, so there is a benefit there in, in terms of keeping everything under one roof. Having said that, if you don't have a Broadloom website, but you do want to work with RLM, um, we do make that possible. There's just a, like Brandon said, there's just a separate fee for us to add um, that functionality to your existing site. Okay, and it looks like we may have like one or two more questions left. Um, let me see here. How customizable is the platform? I'm assuming they're talking, the question is referring to, um, you know, what type of columns can be added based on the sales process. Brandon, can you talk a little bit about how that can be customized from a retailer to retailer basis? Uh, for sure, you guys can easily add, um, if you guys need to add different pipelines or, um, or the, if you guys have lead sources that are different than the ones that are already there. Now lead sources, we, we will add for you at no charge. You just send a quick ticket in to support and we can get those lead sources added for you. As far as getting into creating different pipelines or creating, um, or, you know, those those do have additional fees or adding forms to your websites or doing any kind of API integrations outside of the websites there, there will be a, 
additional fees, but for the most part, um, this is a pretty set it and forget it um, system. And then those little customizations we, uh, we can do for you to make those extra sources available for you. Yeah, for, for us, you know, we, you, we want to make sure that again, this, this experience of software is built um, based on your sales process, right? So we try to create as much customization as we can. Um, having said that, there is like a general flow that most businesses use kind of as a starting point, um, but we can get pretty custom in terms of what types of stages you want to add as part of that experience, again, to ensure that your teams are leveraging it in the right way. Um, okay. Uh, and then one other, um, one, one last question that I saw come in through the chat, um, was around, um, how easy it is to create a new lead source. Um, we talked about that a little bit already in, in terms of the demonstration, but regardless of how these leads are entering your ecosystem, whether that's through your website or manually, um, by your sales team from foot traffic, that's walking into your showroom. We want to be able to capture everything in the CRM. And so we're giving you the ability to do that in a pretty effortless way. Um, the one thing I will say is that CRMs and management tools are as valuable as your team makes them to be. And, and what I mean by that is if you want to get the full utility out of the ecosystem, you really need to enforce, you know, this change of habit that might be new to your, to your sales. And so that means using the technology as it, is intended to be used, um, which requires just maybe a different way of thinking about adding leads, following up on leads, moving leads from stage to stage. Um, if you can get your team in that mindset, um, this will be a very, very powerful piece of technology for business. And like we were talking about earlier, it's not that much work um, to train people on. It's not that much work to adopt as an organization, but there, there does require maybe a little bit of a mental shift um, if you're introducing a completely new process for your group um, for the first time. Um, so that's it for, for Q&A. Um, just some quick takeaways before we wrap up today's conversation. Um, you know, we talked about how these tools are built to make your teams as efficient as possible. And ultimately, um, you know, they're built to help you drive more sales. And the unique nature of tools like RLM is that they're built for independent flooring retailers, right? So we're able to do things that other CRM providers won't be able to do because we're building software that, that, that's unique to your, um, to your needs. Um, we can uh, wrap things up here. Uh, if you guys are at all interested in learning more about retail lead management um, and you're already a Broadloom customer, feel free to reach out directly to your account manager Otherwise, you can reach out to either Brandon or myself. We would love to um, take a deeper dive into the platform. We really just scratched the surface today on what this software can do um, for flooring retailers, but really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to, uh, to hang with us for a little bit and appreciate your patience. I know we've had a couple of technical glitches doing this live for the first time, so really appreciate um, you sticking with us here. Yes, thank you all for joining the demo and we look forward to hearing from you guys.